Hi everyone, welcome back to Crash Vox. It's a Vox chat, Tracy here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, a big hello to if any of you are my new subscribers. I do have quite a few new ones of late. And um, well, welcome to the mayhem. So I received another birthday card. I think this is a birthday card. Um, just a little late. And the reason it was late was because it had... It had an old fashioned stamp on it. And um, so they're not legal anymore, apparently. So um, I had to forward some money to the post office in order to get it. So it took a while to come. But let's have a look. Ah, it just says today is your day. So it's still February, still birthday month. So just in time, I would say. <laughs> oh, thank you, Linda. It's from lovely, lovely Linda. Hope you have a fantastic day. She always remembers, bless her heart. Thank you, Linda Fairbrother. That's so sweet of you. So, um, I'm feeling uh, in a sparkly kind of vibe today. You see, it doesn't like, it's not like ping, ping, but it's just shiny. I'm feeling shiny. As of yesterday, I was shiny because I don't have old, but <laughs> yeah going really well actually if you want to follow my progress for that over there on rock steady then please do but i have an important announcement i have decided to abandon the eyelash um trial um this is what i was using it's called uk lash and um i did a video saying that i would like, trial this and it says for five weeks but um one of the people I follow on YouTube, a um, very new person to me, they look at affordable products. And she is a dermatologist, but she looks at high street kind of um, affordable dermatology. And she invited an opth ophthalmologist, <laughs> eye doctor, to come in who also makes her own range of eye beauty products and stuff because she was kind of fed up with sort of seeing all the people come in with bad stuff that had caught, been caused by this now the active ingredient in this is I've got it written down basically um a A, a prostaglandin inhibitor so what it basically is it is pgf2a and it binds well you don't need to know how it works but basically them in the in the field of ophthalmics they had used this to treat glaucoma and treating blindness or potential blindness you know there's the side effects that this might bring are worth it to save sight However, to grow eyelashes, it's not worth it. And that's because when they, when they used this to treat glaucoma, one of the side effects they noticed was that their patients had beautiful eyelashes. They grew, they had, were thicker, and it was a, a side effect. But there were unfortunate side effects as well as that good one. And they included things like, here we go, discoloration of your iris so my eyes will go brown or could go brown it's not it's only a certain percentage of people this happens to but instead of having green eyes i would suddenly get brown eyes pigmentation of the eyelid so my eyelid could go brown it's all right if i want to wear brown eyeshadow, i guess but it doesn't do it evenly and it's only around this area where it touches so it would just look like eyeliner i guess but you know who wants that anyway the worst one, well, not worst, but one of the worst ones is fat atrophy. So the fat from around your eyes here is essential. If you don't have the fat there, they become sunken. You get sunken lids, sunken under here because the fat depletion will then make it look like you're way older than you actually are. You might have great eyelashes, but you won't have great eyes. Put it that way. Excuse me. Um there's more 
uh, deepening lids, iris, cysts. Yeah, cysts, which are microscopic, but they're on your irises. And, uh, well, I can't remember, I can't pronounce my own writing here. Astoid macular edema, inflamed retina. So, this PGF2A prostaglandin comes in many, many, many forms with many names. And I jotted some of them down. They are isopropyl cluster N8. Cloprosterol isopropyl. Anyway, first one was in here. So... Basically, what they suggested that you get every single ingredient. I, I took a photograph of it and I blew it up. And then you can Google each and every ingredient that goes in this and see what it is. And first off, it was brilliant. It was stuff that um, calms inflammation, um, things like um, licorice root that's known to sort of have its calming effects there was peptides there was all sorts of goodies and then you got that one the one to avoid it's a very controversial ingredient so i have said that i want my money back but we'll see if i get it if not you know what will happen don't you there'll be um another customer service review going their way over on rocksteady so yeah i've, I've abandoned that so then I decided to try this one as well. This is a lip one and I'm going to Google every ingredient before I start. It is an eye opener, <laughs> pardon the pun, but it is an eye opener that we shove this stuff on our faces and in places that, you know, we don't realise absolutely what it is that's in them. All of these names that are a foot long. And then, you know, if they bind with another molecule and everything, then they become even longer. Then they're two foot long, these words. And none of us, because we're not chemists, we're not biochemists, we don't know what they are. And thank goodness for that person telling me, because I would have carried on using that. And sure as God made little green apples, I would be the one with a brown eye, with brown pigments and cysts all over my Because, <laughs> you know, I'm not really lucky. I'm not. When it comes to stuff like that, I ain't lucky. So I've given that one up. I'm not doing that and I don't recommend anyone buy it. So, um, However, there are some really um, safe ones. And once I research them, I will do another video over there on Rocksteady explaining why I'm stopping and what it's all about and the good ones that you can actually use. Cheers. Going to have a slurp of my biscuit tea. Yum, yum, yum. I was a bit worried it had got strong. It looks a bit strong for me. As you know, I kind of like my tea black, but I don't like it strong and black. <clears throat> and um, I'd only just put the tea bag in and put the water on, turned round to do Gary's coffee off the machine, and this was really dark. I thought, oh, I better not squeeze the bag, otherwise it'll get even stronger. Can't do strong tea. Disgusting. Okay, let's do this while we think about it. Um, remember when a lot of these are not very English <laughs> just British no, I'm just saying you know don't always kind of translate uh, this one does remember when spinning around getting dizzy and falling down was a cause for giggles certainly not anymore is it pop a hip if you do that now or worse wobble 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 sorry I hit it but yeah do you remember that I mean a good old spinner -oony. <laughs> I can remember that. And my mum going, you'll fall over. You will. You'll hurt yourself. Because she spoke like that, my mother. On occasion, she spoke like that. Cheers, another slurp coming. Very thirsty today. I don't know why. <clears throat> okay, so let's do it, shall we? Didn't rip off very well. I think it's because I'm getting this overhang bit. Might have to trim that off. Well, that one worked. What we got today? Oh, that one. Wouldn't you just love to do that? I think I would. Like, wee! I don't like heights much. Well, I never used to, but they've kind of 
not as bad for me now as they used to be. I mean, I can remember I would have really freaked out something like the Eiffel Tower, but I've been up it two or three times. The last time I found it a bit, a bit scary. And there's a reason for that. And it wasn't because it was high. It was because it was frosty. And when you look out on the, on the structure, it had frozen ice and it just looked like it was cracking. Obviously it wasn't, but I don't know about you, but when, when things are frozen, they have that, they make you feel like they're brittle and dangerous, that's the word. So yeah, um, well, I've got a feeling, I don't know if it's today or tomorrow, but I've got a tutorial popping up. And um, I've got to get to grips and do the um, left-handed version. That's what I'm trying to think of. So also today on Rocksteady will pop up a, an update on my um, derma rolling and eyelashes, which I filmed before. So it will say that I'm get going on with it and everything. And I'm going to take photos before and after. But um, since then, I've found out that it's not a great thing so I won't be doing that but there's the update of the derma roll in it as well worth a watch anyway and it's together I did my put them together so what else forgot to tell you let me think um got to go to the dental hygienist today I hate that I hate it because they use cold water and my teeth these ones here are really sensitive to cold water um, sometimes if I've got a drink and it's like in, in a, a restaurant or something like Nando's and even if I don't put the ice in, it'll be cold and I'll drink it and suddenly it'll go like, nah, what'd you do that for? So, you know, sometimes drinks are too cold and they, they make that just a little bit alarmed. But um, yeah, they do. They, they squirt water jet. <laughs> so I'm really not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to it because it's seventy pounds as well, which I think is extortion. I can remember, and I, I, when I was a girl, not nothing like that. It was only what a few years back. It was twenty five pounds, and used to have to give them um, a deposit of ten, and then it become thirty pounds, and you had to give them fifteen pound deposit, and now it's seventy pound, and you have to give them thirty five pound deposit. It's sick. It is. It's disgusting. I, d I think so. Ah, anyway, got that to look forward to today. Or not look forward to, as I, as, as the case may be. Definitely not. Um, there's, I think, a yarn quest as well. So maybe the tutorial is Friday. I'm not sure. I kind of sat there and I... I had all these videos and I was scheduling them and I suddenly thought, hang on, have you scheduled them? And one of them popped up at the wrong time. One of my open with me's and I thought, oh, I wasn't going to do that now. Never mind, it's done, it's up. But um, yeah, I kind of, when it, I've got such a long list of them, I found it hard to kind of figure out which ones were going on. I had to write it in a, a I had to write myself a schedule and, and see. And then even then I did it wrong twice and it threw it away. Yeah, organisation. Organisation's the key, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I, I'm really... I think it's clouding me a little bit, knowing I've got to go. I mean, it's not that I don't want the teeth clean, I do. I desperately, desperately want them to do it. But at the same time, <clears throat> not looking forward to that. I've been using an ultra-sensitive toothpaste that they give me um, at the um, dentist. And it really does help with sensitivity. And I know it's working because cold drinks are not making it smart. But I've got a feeling <laughs> it's not going to stop the discomfort from that. Oh, Well, it's a thing you've got to do, isn't it? Can't be off it. I kind of, one time I asked the doctor, dentist, rather not doctor, I asked the dentist to do it instead. And um, she was violent when she chipped away at my teeth. I thought they'd fall out in a minute. It was like pinging everywhere and, and she was not gentle in the slightest. I thought, this cannot be good for your teeth. You know, just saying. You kind of feel like it's a bit too much. 
if I did have any enamel, it's gone now. That's what I felt like anyway. Not great. So, <clears throat> what else have I got to tell you? I don't think I've got much to tell you because I had a bad day. And in, t in terms of getting stuff done, I had a bad day. I don't know why. But you know some days when you just feel like, oh my God, it's only half ten and I've done everything. And then other days you think, oh, I haven't done anything. That's what it is today. That's how it feels today. Like a bad kind of nothing worked, nothing wanted to work, nothing, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still managed to keep all my, um, you know, plate spinning but I just feel like today wasn't the greatest of days postman came today and took the parcel so if you're waiting for anything from me uh it will be very very soon only one of them was for the USA so that obviously would take a little bit longer but hopefully the UK ones are usually quite fast um a lot of people are complaining about the Royal Mail saying how slow it's been lately but um i've not noticed it um i not with my parcels people tell me they get them really quick and I, I like that that's really cool so yeah i haven't really had any problems with it <coughs> so anyway i'm going to get off and upload this one um and uh <coughs> i've got lots of things coming up to tell you about really like um i'm doing um my own little kind of tips and tricks video uh well not tips and tricks but um yeah kind of things that i do or have picked up that i might not have shown you so and some that i might have but i'm going to do a video for that um that's what those swatches over here were kind of for and um <coughs> uh, what else um Oh yeah, the round, the round granny. Gonna do that um, very soon. I want to do a bit more of it first before I can uh, do that. Um, there is a, an Easter project I wanted to do, but whether I've got the time to do it or not, I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully so. And um, so watch out for that. And um, yeah, I also did an inside track for my members, so that will be popping up. And hopefully, I've asked for some of my members to help me. So um if you haven't if you are one of my members please watch out for that and uh and give me your your um your thoughts that's the word <clears throat> so bye for now take care everyone i will see you on the next one toodaloo guys